Ah, Shanmugam, here. Hepatitis B. It's a DNA virus. Okay. So very important is DNA virus, it causes cirrhosis of liver. and hepatocellular carcinoma. It is called doctor's disease. Hmm. Doctor's disease and it is transmitted by needle stitch injury. Hmm. It was earlier recalled as Australia antigen. Baruch Bloomberg. He called it as hepatitis B virus, for which, for which he got Nobel Prize. Okay. Uh, it is basically made up of uh, it has got an envelope. Envelope is made up of hepatitis B surface antigen. Okay. It has got inside and it has got DNA. Okay. It's DNA and it has got DNA polymerase. Polymerase. It has got two antigen that is core antigen, hepatitis B surface antigen, core antigen. And hepatitis, hepatitis E antigen, E antigen. So, uh, what are the modes of transmission? Number one, it is sexually transmitted disease. And more than that, it is blood transfusion, okay, unscreened blood. Number three, needle stick injury. Number four, mother to child, vertical. Vertical transmission. Vertical. Vertical transmission. Okay. Now, as far as yourself is concerned, Shanmuga, and now very important is uh, lab diagnosis. So there are six markers. One is HBSAG. Number two is HVCAG. Number three is HVEAG. So this HVCAG never appears in the serum. To find out this, we have to do the biopsy of hepatic cell and do what is called as FISH. That is fluorescent in situ hybridization. The first thing appears is uh, and the, this is month, okay? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. This is the title of antigen or antibody. Okay. First thing appears is it appears last for nearly almost four and a half months. That is HBS, HBSAG. And afterwards, antibodies will appear. Antibodies against HBSAG. Next thing is appears is at the end of third month, HBC antibodies. Antibodies. At the end of third, second, second or third month, HBA E antigen appears and HBE antigen and then antibodies against HBE antigen. So these are all antigens are detected by uh, ELISA test. What is ELISA test? ELISA test you have to, so you are detecting surface antigen, you have to you have to coat the antibody. Then second thing, you have to add the serum. Serum. 
And third thing is anti human gamma globulin tagged with enzyme called horse radish. peroxidase, horse radish peroxidase. If this antibodies is present, if this antigen is present, this antigen is present, then it will be color will change. That color change is recorded by ELISA needle. The interpretation, how do you interpret the test? If you detect HBSAG, Either it shows the patient has a carrier, simple carrier, simple carrier, or no. If if you detect both HBSAG and HBEAG, is a both if you get is a super carrier. If you detect antibody against HBSAG, it shows. He is recovering, recovering or vaccinated. If it shows only HBEAG and antibody against HBCAG, HBCAG again it is prognostically, prognosis is good. If you detect only antigen, then prognosis is bad. So, you have to take vaccine. This is a DNA recombinant vaccine in the dose of uh, first month and uh, after, after, after first today is the zero day after one month and six months. A uh, titer of one in ten IU per DL is productive. If it is more, it's good. Let us see how it is.